the power of genetics is now unlocked for other people to be able to use. To conserve species well, you have to be able to identify the species accurately and you have to know where the species is. And Sherlock is able to do both for you through different applications. If you have a species in hand, you can confirm its identity. If you don't have a species in hand and you're trying to detect DNA in the environment, you know, it can tell you if the species is there um, or not. Chinook are a great fit actually because um, all of the runs more or less look the same. Um, they're, they're visually very similar um, and the, the current method that we have to identify the different run types is based on what length they are at a particular age and it's not very accurate so we need to rely on genetic identification and the genetic identification methods we have work really well, they're very accurate but they take a really long time. Whereas with Sherlock, we can do genetic identification of the different run types in 30 minutes. This kind of simple output is just showing us that two out of the three um, fish that we pulled up um, are uh, positive for BA fall or late fall run. Something that's so cool about Sherlock is you don't need a geneticist anymore. You can do it yourself. An ecologist can do this. And that is super powerful that you don't have to have a lab. You don't have to have a geneticist. Other people can do it. And so that's, I, to me, one of the most powerful things about this, that other people can, the power of genetics is now unlocked for other people to be able to use. And that's one of the big things that I think um, is changing how we're going to use this in our area for monitoring.